What's up everybody? So today we're gonna go through this heated vest. Winter's coming up. Every winter, they try to stay warmer outside. That's got nine strategically placed heating elements. It's supposed to give you about 30% more heat than other vests. It delivers the heat where you need it most, which is around your neck and the abdomen, the back shoulders, and even a little bit in the pockets. It's got a giant 10,000 milliamp battery, so it's gonna last about six hours on the highest setting. Not only are we gonna test this as a fashion item, but we're gonna use our temperature gun to see how warm we actually get. All right, this is the Momzy heated vest. I've discovered that you can get basically vests that are heated and it's also stylish, which is good for me. So let's have a look. All right, so looks like a standard jacket. All right, let's open this up. So there's a pocket right here and there's a wire sticking out. There it is, it's got a connector. It's water resistant, it seems. It's like a silicone cover, let's open this up. It's probably a USB. Yep, it's a USB. So the cloth is 100% nylon, so it's obviously water wicking, and then the lining is 100% polyester. And this is the lithium battery pack. 10,000 milliamp, 3.7 volt, 2.4 amp, so it's fast charging. So this is how you charge it, USB-C. They provided you with USB-C. You plug one end into here. All right, and we're at 91% charge. I like the display. And then you also have an additional power bank, so if you wanna charge your phone, which is awesome. And on the front, this is where the logo is, you press this, this is how you turn it on. See that? So now, if you hold this for three seconds, red. Red is the highest mode. All the elements are gonna heat up to the highest rated temperature. You press again, blue is middle, and then green is like economy mode. And it's like just warm enough maybe to have around the house. The pockets have snaps in place. They're pretty deep. And let's test. Now that should be waking water away. I'm just gonna see if it actually penetrates at all. So far, nothing. And then the inside is dry as well. All right guys, so let's see how comfortable I am here. So there are two pockets. They're, whoa, they're actually pretty big. Okay, the heating element is on immediately. You're gonna feel it right here. Right here around your neck. I'm feeling it on my lats. I'm feeling it right here on the top of my back, here and up here. And I'm feeling it on the chest, so right here and right here. So you, you know what? I probably got a size too big. So you probably want to get yourself one size smaller so it's nice and snug and tight. And that way, when the vest is completely tight on your skin, the pads that are heated are going to feel a lot warmer. But what I again dig is that I have a pocket here and if I wanted to put my phone, see, my phone fits. See that? And this is a big phone. How big this is, right? And then I can run a cable, connect it to the inside of the power bank that's powering the vest. So I can just run a cable in here for my cell phone. And then just come out of my turtleneck right here, connect it, and I'd have my phone on or my GoPro all day long. Let's grab our thermometer infrared gun and let's see how warm things realistically are. So right now we are on the hottest mode. And while it does say 60 Celsius, of course, just like a swimming pool at 90 Fahrenheit is not really that hot when you step inside. Same theory applies. So let's see here. So neck right here, you can feel a lot of warmth right here. 40. Now on the inside and in the back of the jacket, so there's a heating element right here, right behind the back. You can see the stitch. Let's see what we get here. 44.6, 45.7, 45.8. All right, so you can see that we're getting close to 50 as well. And then we got here at the bottom as well. All right, we're getting basically 45. So the highest level, while it does say 60, you might as well just shed basically 15 Celsius off of that. And then the same can be said basically for the lower mode. So not to say that they're misleading. I'm just saying just the way the heating operates when it's up in the open air, you're not necessarily going to get those heating temperatures. That's why I recommend get a really small size so it's nice and tight on you. That way, not only is the heat never going to escape when it touches your body, it's going to get even hotter with your body heat. I also have a pair of gloves that are very similar that I've been using for the last two years. These gloves are only heated really at the top here and at the fingertip level. But there are gloves now that are essentially completely heated and then it's the same premise. You basically have a built-in battery pack right here at the bottom. There you go. And it's just kind of clipped in here. So this is your battery pack. 
you recharge it quite easily. The technology out there is actually bonkers now that allows you to really be nice and toasty when you're either working outside in a construction zone or maybe you enjoy winter sports. Look in the description, I suppose, if you guys want to get a link for this, the gloves, there's even warm hats, full jackets, and I even have a pair of sweats that are also heated. Anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching.